Hi, my name is Tiffany and today we are going to do two simple but healthy recipes. We're going to do banana pops, <clears throat> which we will make the bananas and freeze them and they'll make a nice, sweet, smooth um, snack for you guys. And then the other one we'll be doing is banana boats. So today for the banana boats, we're going to use yogurt, bananas, raspberries, and strawberries. And then for the banana pops, we're going to use the yogurt again, bananas, and then we're going to put a little toppings on them. So we have chocolate chips here and sprinkles. So let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to start with the banana pops. So we need one banana and this will make two pops. We're going to have, we have strawberry yogurt here. You can use any yogurt you want, but today I picked strawberry. And then we have chocolate chips and sprinkles and these will be our toppings for our pops. And then I have cake pop sticks but you can use any sticks like popsicle sticks, anything you want. Okay, so we're gonna start. We're gonna peel our banana. Just discard that and cut it in half. So we're gonna pour your strawberry yogurt into a bowl. It's just easier sometimes if you do this. We'll take your cake pop, stick, stick it in your banana. And then, now this is a great way to get the kids involved in this. Thing. You're gonna put your yogurt all over your banana. Now, the thicker the layer, the better. Now, I'm just going to leave this sitting here for one second. I forgot to put wax paper on a plate. So, this is a brand new one. So, you need a piece of wax paper on your plate. And then, you take your pop and you can sprinkle it sprinkle it with sprinkles just to give the kids a little bit of a surprise and then you're gonna place it on to your paper and then we'll do the same with the other one this one I think I'll put a couple of chocolate chips on Again, you're going to want to get it all yogurt. And then I will put some chocolate chips on here and sprinkle them on. Now, these will go into the freezer for two hours and then they're ready to enjoy. So let's place them in the freezer. All right, so that was the first snack. Now we'll clean up this stuff and then we'll start the other snack, which is banana boat. Okay, so now we're gonna start the banana boat. So first we wanna cut up all our fruit. So today we have strawberries and we have raspberries and bananas. So the bananas, we're only gonna cut down the middle. So we'll set those aside and we'll, the raspberries we don't need to cut. So to, right now we're gonna cut our strawberries. So we're just gonna dice them because for little guys, we don't want them to have too big of pieces. So we'll just dice them up. Okay, so 
we have our little strawberries cut up. Now, we're gonna take our banana. And we'll take the peeling off of it. Now this snack is kind of like a banana split, but a healthier version. Okay, so we're gonna take your banana and cut it down the middle just like a banana split. And we're gonna sit it in your bowl. Okay, like that. Now, this is a perfect time to get the little ones involved. So we have our yogurt. And just like ice cream, we're gonna pour the yogurt into the middle of our banana bowl. Then, this is the fun part, you get to decorate. So, you can take your strawberries and put it in your banana bowl. And you can have your raw raspberries and sprinkle them into there. Now, today we don't have your uh, granola, but you can put your, your granola in there and make it like a parfait. You can also put coconut. Um, we, do, we have chocolate chips. You can put chocolate chips on there. But there is your banana boat. It's simple, it's healthy, and the kids will have fun putting all the different toppings on. I hope you try these snacks at home and share your pictures with us. We have family gatherings. We love to see your pictures of all the crafts, all the snacks, everything that you guys are doing at home. Send us your pictures. Have a good day, guys.